to me. This one is worn out. Seen Rainer's new secretary? That guy's got it good. Where did you learn to fight like that? Where? On the road? As a pilgrim? I had no other choice. On the road? <laughs> Don't you wonder sometimes what they gave us to make us like this? Stronger? Rather fucked in the head. But yeah, fucked up and stronger. Maybe I'll figure that out when I find Mia. What's next? Well, you heard it yourself. Ro might know where you can access that damn database. Here, take these orders to him. Just don't lose them, or Jack will gut me. What about you? I'll join you. But first, I have to see Frank. You saw him. He's barely holding it together. So, uh, Frank, he's not exactly the most reliable source of help. You don't know what you're talking about. He was a night runner. Even though these days, he can't even say the name properly when he's drunk. Aren't the night runners ancient history? History can repeat itself. For good and for bad. Legends can't. Say what you want. I believe that when the time comes, if the time comes, Frank will rise to the occasion. Who knows? Maybe he'll even invite me to join the club. And Jack, the commander. Do you trust him? Jack Matt? He's a smart guy. But a bit of a narcissist. What do you mean? Well, he's only a major, but refers to himself as commander-in-chief. But he gave us Rose location, and a chance to find the GRE terminal. I don't care about the rest. What about this Roe guy? You know him? Roe? Too fucking well I do. He's a great commander. And a fucking hothead. For some reason, people say we have a lot in common. Once, Jack sent his squad to a spot that turned out to be a dark zone. People panicked, and they probably wouldn't have made it out of there. But Roe kept his cool. Makes them all back out and suddenly starts banging a stick on some barrels, attracting the motherfuckers. It was a suicidal plan. But the vital thing was, it was a plan. That's what makes soldiers think clear again. If the Night Runner still existed, Frank would have recruited him for sure. Okay. Good. Start with Culvert Island. The PK have an outpost there. Hey, Luan. You should know that in Old Villador, I, I came into conflict with Ader. I blew up the Peacekeeper's windmill, and we really don't like each other. <laughs> Are you afraid they'll figure out what you've done? Didn't you hear what Jack was saying? Take it easy. Nobody has contact with old Villador here. And even if there was someone, by that time, we'll have already found what we're looking for. And stay on the radio all the time. Sure thing, partner. safely in the powered areas. Luan, I'm nearing Culvert Island. Great. Frank sorted out, so I'm on my way. If you get Ro to tell you where the terminal is, let me know. You'll find your sister. I'll find the missing names of assholes for my kill list. Everyone will be happy. Except the people you shoot. They won't be in any condition to care.
Lieutenant Rowe, I have orders from the commander. I ain't Rowe. He went off with a squad to New Dawn Park. I'm Lieutenant Grady. Great. Guess I gotta keep going. What are you talking about? Show me those orders, son. I was supposed to give them directly to Roe. And I'm Roe when Roe's not here. It's called chain of command. Give him. What the hell? Did the commander say why we're being pulled back to center? He didn't seem too eager to explain anything to me. I'm just the messenger. Okay, boys, time to pack it in. Command's ordered us to withdraw. It's back to base for us. We're doing what? We're leaving this outpost? Don't question me. You can't hide behind Meyer's skirt out here. You're... you're abandoning us? W what do we do? We'll be defenseless. Go arm the survivors. Then we roll. Hey, if I were you, I'd give them plenty of weapons. The Renegade sent a whole detachment to the fisheye. Any other bright ideas, civilian? Uh, just a question. Where can I find Roe? New Dawn Park, like I said. Not sure if they made it yet. You take these to him and tell him I'm on it. <laughs> Better you than me, buddy. Roe's gonna blow his top when he reads these. And I'm here to save lives, not lose mine. Yeah, thanks for the tip. Assholes. We won't stand a chance. I'm really sorry, civilian, but we have orders. You can't leave us. If the renegades come, we'll be dead within a day. Easy there, civilian. Well, <sighs> Fucking idiots. Pulling orders out of their ass, putting innocent people at risk. Luan, I'm going to New Dawn Park. Apparently, Roe went there. I still don't understand why the renegades attacked the fish eye. They've got their camps, but Butcher hasn't attacked the fish eye since. Never. Even he respected the Night Runner, so. No fucking clue what's going on in his head. The Butcher. Tell me more about him. The Colonel. He's the leader of the renegades. He gave the order to douse the city in chemicals. That's when my parents died. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Saw my dad once in my whole life. And if mom was good at anything, it was drinking. She abandoned me. That's how you ended up in Walt's program? <sighs> More or less. And your parents? Remember that? No. I just remember the hospital. Pain. And the fire. Right before they split me and Mia up. Is that why you're looking for her? She's the only family you got left. Let's focus on the job, okay? Okay, tough guy. Last one there's a rotten egg. Oh! <laughs> 
I'm looking for Lieutenant Rowe. You seen him? Who are you? Why do you want to know? I have orders from Major Matt. Lieutenant Grady said he was here. It'll be okay. Where's your squad and commander? We were making camp when renegades attacked us. 
Ro and the others, they got a few. Then they went after the ones that tried to run. What about you? Couldn't keep up. And lost contact with them. Then another group attacked me. What are they doing here? The renegades weren't attacking our positions in the center. Oh, fuck. Hey! Still some rats here! Be careful. Hide. Go to hell. Sure. Already leaving. <laughs> Aren't we, gentlemen? Let's get him! Hey, we're safe now. You can come out. So, um, where's Rome? <sighs> Camp was supposed to be up there on the hotel roof, by the junction with Newell's Drive. There's a winch in the back of the building. You can take that up. If they haven't been able to come back yet, that's where you'll find them. Thanks. If you can make it back to base on your own, go there. And don't let yourself get chased into a box again.
Not yet, but I ran across some renegades. Check the status of the squad downstairs. Yes, sir, Lieutenant, sir. Are the renegades outside? They won't bother you. You took them out? Who are you? Aiden. I got orders from Jack Matt. Well, fuck me. Let's look at what Santa Zelza brought us. Withdrawal? Now? This is some kind of fucking joke. Know how many men I lost to secure this miserable plot of land? Look, I don't, Lieutenant, but I have Five. other... Five of our very best. Bartez killed more virals than an entire unit. Sierra and Little Ron? They've been fighting at my side since before the fall. They gave their lives for that scrap of the city, and now what? I'm supposed to pull back? Listen, I'm just a messenger. Calm down and talk. Oh, you don't think I'm calm, huh? I'm a fucking oasis of Zen. Nirvana fucking walking. Bartez's husband. How's he gonna keep calm, huh? When I leave her body on this godforsaken turf. Sierra and Brasco's mom? She's not gonna be calm to learn her boys died here in vain. What should I tell him? All this for nothing just cause Matt signed a piece of paper and sent it to me? We do the real work out here, and it's nothing to Matt to take it all away with a smear of ink. Fucking total bullshit. I'm looking for access to the GRE database. I hear you know where I can do that. Yeah, I do. But why the fuck would I tell you under the circumstances? I got important, if idiotic, business to attend to. Get out of my sight. Okay, gentlemen. Gather the dog tags of the fallen. Fucking sucks. But an order's an order. Bro, wait. Luan, you come to piss me off too? You know me, Ro. Aiden and me both are looking for that GRE database. And you're gonna tell us. You wanna drag this out or take care of it here and now? <laughs> Fuck. Why are you after the database? I've heard it was stored on servers in the Observatory Command Center. But that building was destroyed in the chemical attacks years ago. The bombings came one after the other, like we were the fucking Viet Cong. Nothing was left. Understand? Nada. 
If you want, check for yourselves. Gentlemen, we're going. What's next? Next? <laughs> Didn't you hear? That database sounds long gone. So much for discovering the mystery of our childhood. I'll go back to looking for the shits on my hit list, and you? You can enjoy life in the center. What's the deal with those renegades? Why did they attack the canteen? How would I know? Williams is a fucking lunatic. A butcher. And murderer. He killed half the city with a chemical weapon strike. Now he's ordering his men to attack civilians in the center. Right after Waltz turned on the power. Waltz and that psychopath are buddies. I wouldn't be surprised if they planned that together as well. Maybe Rose wrong. Maybe something survived intact after all. The butcher dropped chemicals. The place was reduced to toxic rubble. Are you giving up? Are you deaf or dumb? Those chemical bombs destroyed everyone and everything they touched. <clears throat> this was a fucking waste of time. Frank was right. I am fucking naive. I'm going to the observatory. Then you're going alone. So, we're splitting up? All good things must come to an end. The butcher and the pricks from my list, they'll find this out soon enough. I'm going back to looking for them. You shouldn't stay here either. Aiden, I'm sorry you didn't find your sister. Yeah, thanks. You've always got Waltz. He probably knows what happened to her. If I find him, I'll let you know. Good luck, Gajo. Take care, Luan. I'm really not going with you.
Farewell, flower lady. So this is her story. I understand now why she went to his flower shop every day. Her son should know that he was loved. I found her. I'm afraid she... She had passed away. She was with her flowers. So... She died in peace? She did, yes. She wrote a letter and actually mentioned you. She did? Yes. Here. I think you should read it. This old lady was... My mother? So many times as a kid, I imagined how she'd look... I'd see other kids at the park with their mothers, and I'd have this knot in my stomach, feeling I could never see mine, knowing I could never hold her hand, thinking she never even cared, when in fact, she did care. I did see her every day for years. I never expected that she... <sighs> Maybe this is why I couldn't throw away her flowers. Thank you, Aiden. Love isn't dead after all. I'm, uh... I'm gonna need some time alone now. Thank you for giving her the rose. I'll uh, see you around, Aiden. Yeah. <laughs> 